Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to explain to you what all the fuss is about to do with Midjourney's new remastering option. And that will allow you to go from this to this. So let's see what Midjourney has to say about this intriguing new tool. In the announcements Discord channel, David Haight has said that the new remaster feature will let people remaster images from the version 1, 2 and 3 algorithms and it will use the coherence of their latest test algorithm which we saw great results with. You can remaster any previous upscale job you've made in the past. So this is great, it means that you can go back to anything that you've created before and remaster it with this new algorithm. So we've got to bear in mind, there is a limitation on this at the moment. It's only working up to an aspect ratio of 2 to 3 or 3 to 2. So anything that you created outside of that aspect ratio will not be able to be remastered at the moment. And multi-prompts might work a little bit funny and there is no image prompt support yet. But let's not wait too long. I imagine the team are hard at work in creating that they say that this is a kind of a crazy and experimental feature. We don't know if it will, if we will keep it around as is, but from our testing, so far we're finding it really fun. So let me show you how this works. Come into your chat with Midjourney, and once you've upscaled an image, once you've taken your first four images and upscaled one of those, you'll have the new option at the end of the buttons, and it will be remaster. And then when you click on that, it will start a job remastering that image. Now I've been having a little play around with it myself and this is what I've come out with. You can see this was the original upscaled image, this Aztec warrior princess, and with the coherent algorithm applied, I'm noticing a few distinct changes. Firstly, the eyes have immensely improved. The coherence of the eyes are hugely lifelike. They've managed to keep the whites of the eyes much more consistent, which was something that was failing often in the original algorithms. We can see here that even the, the shape of the iris is slightly elliptical and not fully round, where here it's much more consistent. Even the lighting on side of the of the retina of the eye is is creating this enticing feel that's drawing us into the imagery. I would also like to draw your attention to how the textures have changed. They have gone from a, a more painted aesthetic uh, into something that's uh, resembling uh, a much more uh, smooth and clear texture of the skin. For me it resembles uh, a very fine uh, artwork rather than something a little bit more, um, should we say, impressionist in style. And even the details, if you can see here, like you can almost identify individual strands of hair and the the crispness the focus of the elements is uh, much more apparent you can see that it's kept uh, the colors largely similar uh, but overall the the output is more realistic less artistic more detailed less impressionistic so i also did this on an abstract uh, space galaxy scene and you can see here in this instance i would say that it has created a slightly more Mm, uh, realistic scene yet it's lost a lot of the details and for me some of the vibrancy so if you are creating something that is supposed to be abstract and slightly more surreal uh, and if you want a painterly feel uh, it is not the best option but uh, the results with character design are outstanding so I'm really excited to see where this one goes, if they'll stick it around, and what you might come up with. Let me know how you find the new remaster tool in the comments, and have a delightful day!